there are many people who does five axis programming but the unfortunate part is that most of them do not understand some of the basic concepts so today's video is an effort to bring clarity to those five axis machining concepts we'll talk about the various configurations of five axis and tcpm function happy learning first we'll talk about general five axis machining concepts in my first video i have explained about different configurations for five axis machines based on the rotary axis and tilting axis five axis machines can be classified into three different types table table configuration head table configuration and head head configuration let's see table table configuration in this the rotary axis and the tilting axis both are on table that is why it is called table table so both a and b or b and c or a and c depending upon how it is configured it is configured about x axis about y axis or about z axis now in this case if you see the tilting axis is on x axis that mean it is a axis and the rotary axis is configured about z axis that is why it is called c axis so a and c now the next configuration is head table so in this case this tilting axis is configured on y axis so it is b axis and the rotary axis is configured on z axis so it is c axis and the next one is head head configuration so both tilting and rotary is configured on the head or the spindle now this depending upon the machine this can be a axis the tilting can be b axis or a axis the way it is configured so this look like a b axis and the rotary axis is configured on about z axis so it is c axis so these are the three configuration of uh, five axis machines now let's look at classification of five axis machining based on the axis movements so there are basically two type of uh, five axis machining one is 3 plus 2 machining it is sometimes called positional five axis and the other type is simultaneous five axis so these are two sample part this is for 3 plus 2 machining or positional five axis machining so the table or head will be will be tilted to the required angle and then the machining will be done in regular three axis uh, style so that is why it is called 3 plus 2 so regular three axis and the position by using tilting and rotary to two axis so that is why it is called 3 plus 2 whereas in simultaneous five axis all the five axis will be moving simultaneously so this kind of profile it is very very difficult to do by using 3 plus 2 machining concept so all the axes need to be moving simultaneously so that it will not hit on the other part part surface now we will see one of the very important concept in five axis machining 
that is called TCPM. TCPM is nothing but tool center point management. To understand it better, we'll see the concept. We'll see how a five access machine will behave with TCPM off or without the TCPM option. <clears throat> See, whenever a tilting is commanded, now for easier understanding, we are looking only at one just tilting axis. So when we command the tilting of the axis, so you can see this is the pivot point, the point on which the rotation happens. So you can see when the angle is commanded, it simply moved to this angle and it hit the part surface. There is a collision. So you can see the tool center was here when we started uh, this call, angle call. So you can see from the initial position to the current position, there is a shift in a Z axis. And there is a shift in Y axis also. So from pivot point, so earlier the tool was straight. Now the tool is at an angle. So this much shift happened and that is plunged into the part leading to a collision and scrapping the part. Now we we'll see when we give the same angle command with TCPM on or with Tool center point management function on. See, the tool center point remain on the same position, whereas the angular position, required angular position, is achieved by shifting the overall axis, keeping the tool center point on the same position. The axis is getting shifted to a new location. This is calculated by the controller itself with this TCPM command. So there is a Z shift now. Earlier case when the TCPM was not there, we saw that this point is moving. Whereas now in this case, this point is stationary. The pivot point itself is moved in this case. Earlier it was here, now it is here. And the Y shift, again, the pivot point is moved, keeping the tool center point intact. Now this we are seeing on a machine with table tilting configuration. So with TCPM off, again, there is a collision. Now with TCPM on, how it moves? Yes. So here you can look at TCPM off and here you can look at TCPM on. We'll see both the things together so that you will understand it better. So here the two center point is moved, whereas here the two center point is kept on the same point where the movement is compensated by moving the pivot point. Here there is a collision and here collision is avoided. 